In this section, we will study regression analysis. It is used for estimating relationships between a dependent variable and one or more independent variables. Let's see the data set, a collection of points in the plane. Each point has two components, x and y. X is an independent variable, and Y is the dependent variable. Uh, degradation analysis is to estimate a relationship for X and Y, and which represents the data set. In this case, uh, it is apparently a line, so we call it the regression line. Okay, here we'll define the regression line. Uh, suppose a set of uh, experimental data points are given as here. So there are m points, and each one has x and y, two components. And now, once you try to make a scatter plot, then assume uh, it is close to a line. Then we may try to determine a line of this form y called beta 0 plus beta 1 x, and that is as close as possible to the given points uh, measured in the 2 norm. Then the line is called the least squares line or the regression line of y on x. The parameters are called regression coefficients. So we have to decide beta 0 and beta 1. In order to do that, for each point, now this is model, we try to uh, use each point so that x1 y1, mm, that is not, may not equal. This is observed uh, value, y value, uh, from here, the model for at x1, this will be predicted y value. It's not the same, uh, but uh, once uh, beta 0, beta 1 is uh, decided, then the difference uh, must be as mo small as possible. We'll try to measure the error uh, by using square norm. So the square sum of the error must be minimized there. In that way, we'll try to get beta 0 and beta 1. But we start with an uh, uh, equation for each point in this way. Then we can collect these equations into this linear system where x must be here the first column is 1 and then second column uh, must be x1 to xm and here beta is beta 0 and beta 1 and that will become here for the phase y. So we have this linear system. And in this case, x is called the design metric, or sometimes it is called the information metric. And beta is the parameter vector, which is unknown in our computation, and y is the observation vector. Okay, we may try to use the method of normal equations, and the least square solution as um, the equivalent to uh, the solution of this uh, normal equations. And once um, x transpose x is invertible, then we can get unique solution. In the earlier section, we studied that. Now let's try to formulate x transpose x. And you can easily get that one here. In front of x, you may try to get x transpose, and that will be, the first will be 1 everywhere, 
and then second row will be x1 and x2 and then there is xm so if you try to make this matrix matrix multiplication and that will make m and then this first row second column will make that summation of xi and the same way for this one and then now second row second column will make a summation of xi squared the same for right side once x transpose is multiplied then this first row and the y will make a summation of y and then uh, the second row and the vector uh, multiplication will be xi yi summation so we have this equation once it is invertible then we'll get a unique least square solution Okay, and for this metric, we can get it mm, in this way. For each point, and first we open an array, and then uh, for each point, we try to make, we try to add, and one here, xi, xi, xi squared, so that eventually later on, we can reach out this metric also the same for each point you are trying to add this vector so that eventually you can get that one so it is a pointwise construction of the normal equations is uh, sometimes uh, a little bit convenient okay okay this is um, uh, self study problem uh, find the equation y equal beta 0 plus beta on x of uh, least squares line that best fits the given points so these are x values and these are y values so you may try to get here for example the original algebra system then there are four points the little one 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 which is the uh, first column of the information metric and second column must be x values so first one is minus one second is zero third one is one and now the last x value is two and then here we have um, parameter vector and right side is collection of y values there's zero one two four and then now that is um you can say there's at the equal y so the x transport can be multiplied in front of here and here and you can get the normal equations and you can find the parameter vector okay you can do it we can get an other curves by using the least square uh, technique for example we consider quadratic uh, equation y equals beta 0 plus beta 1x plus beta squared x squared so that we are trying to fit the data using a quadratic curve so again same way once data is given then for each point we make an equation by using x1 y1 we get that one for x2 y2 we have this one and this is for the last point then the corresponding algebraic system can be written in this way now we are collecting quotients every one now question says here x1 to xm for second column and these uh, values are for the third column and beta has now three component and here there's beta 0 beta 1 beta 2 and capital y is collection of y values so that is uh, the linear system and again 
we may try to use the method of normal equations and x transpose uh, is multiplied then we have that uh, metric and also the right hand side can be obtained in this way this one has pattern it's summation every summation is one summation so that the that one will be m now there's xi summation xi squared summation and also in down direction again xi one more xi again xi squared xi cubed and one more xi so the xi squared summation and one more power one more power also right side y i summation and xi multiplied and xi squared multiplied so that there is a pattern so even though you try in some high order polynomial you can get this metric quite easily right? it's uh, quite simple to construct the normal equations okay now find on uh, least curve of the form is quadratic that best fits the given points the exact same way and following this formula you can get it uh, you'll see the answer must be 1 plus half x squared so try uh, yourself okay now uh, sometimes you have to solve nonlinear regression problem and here we'll deal with some simple uh, linearization techniques and basically we are trying to use change of variables look at this model okay this is original model y equal a plus uh, b over x once we introduce new variable x tilde to be one of x and y tilde is the same as y then uh, this equation must be y equal a plus uh, b x tilde that is exactly this one so it is a um, linearized form of course along with this one now you are using x tilde which is one of x the reciprocal of original x must be used there now for this model once we take um, the reciprocal then that will be 1 of y will be a plus bx okay for 1 of y we introduce y tilde for x tilde the same then it it will become this uh, linear model so it is a linearization for this model c times e to the dx we take logarithm and both sides then that will become logarithm y equal logarithm c plus now that is dx okay we uh, try to introduce this is y tilde and logarithm c and now dx then okay so x tilde is x then there is exactly this one so we can find log logarithm c itself and d through least square um, the formulation then after getting logarithm c you can recover c right okay now for this model to get the uh, more uh, easy uh, the model in linear model first you may try to get this circle then now after that logarithm x can be uh, changed by x tilde and then so that x tilde is logarithm x y tilde is one of y then it becomes this linear model so that for this one you can use the technique and uh, just we learned so after getting this one and um, for example for this one you can recover from this parameter let's see this example 
find the best fitting curve of the form y equals c times e to the dx for the data. Okay, this is the scatter plot of the data points. It looks like exponential function. But if, um, for example, uh, this one is not given, then you may consider this is the first choice and there is a second choice, maybe y call uh, here, uh, there's a0 plus a1 x plus a2 x squared. That's either quadratic or exponential. Then you may try to get for both of them and the model fitting and you can measure the error, least squares error. So for example, error for this model is small, then you may consider this is the right model. In this way, once uh, there's no model is given, then you may select best model and fitting the coefficients. Okay? But for this data set, now we have to uh, the fit along with the model given in this way. Okay. For the equation, okay, we take the logarithm, then logarithm y equal logarithm c plus dx. Now we introduce new variables, capital Y is logarithm y. Now logarithm c for convenience, so a0 will be used there. And again for D A1 and here now capital X is X, then we can write in this way capital Y equal A0 plus A1X. And of course here Y is a logarithm Y. And after getting A0 and A1, from A0 we can recover C by taking exponential function. Right? Okay. Okay, let's see this example. For earlier um, the theta set, here we have that one. For this one, now we try to get new theta set. That is, to use the built-in function, we need this, this manipulation. And x, l, and y. So x is copied. The first column is copied. But for second component, we take a logarithm and then uh, here save them. So that this data set, this array, is including x and logarithm y. This is new data by using that. Now the variable is x and curve is this form. And uh, here, least squares uh, method in curve appearing is called and we got that one. So there is A0, A1. From now A0 by taking exponential function we can get C and from A1 we can get D just uh, assignment. So the final curve is now C times exponential dx. That is exactly that one and this function uh, curve is now uh, plot along with the points. So as you can see, it is really good um, feeding. Nonlinear models uh, can be linearized uh, in, in many cases. However, in reality, for some, in fact, most of the complicated uh, nonlinear models, you cannot linearize. In the case, you have to solve by using some nonlinear solver like a Newton method. But solving this uh, least square uh, nonlinear uh, fitting problem is not so simple. Uh, in machine learning class, we we'll deal with that uh, algorithms. Here, we simply consider only uh, linearizable uh, nonlinear models. Okay. Okay. Thank you.